our sun, the star of the show. The sun is a giant ball of hot gas at the center of our solar system. It gives us light and heat, making life on Earth possible. Plants use sunlight to grow, and animals need plants to eat. The sun is much bigger than Earth and so bright we can't look directly at it. Special glasses help us see the sun safely. The sun is like a giant power plant, giving energy to all the planets. Made mostly of hydrogen and helium, these gases get super hot and create light and heat. The sun has been shining for billions of years and will shine for billions more. It's amazing to think about. The sun is a fascinating star. Learning about it helps us understand our solar system and our planet. It's the star of our show, 13. The inner planets are close to the sun. They are made of rock and metal. Mercury is the smallest planet and the closest to the sun. Venus is the hottest planet with a thick atmosphere that traps heat. Earth is our home with water and land just right for life. Mars is the red planet, rusty colored because of the iron in its soil. Scientists think Mars might have had water long ago. Mercury zips around the sun quickly, while Venus rotates very slowly and in the opposite direction of most planets. Earth rotates once every 24 hours, giving us day and night. Mars has two small moons named Phobos and Deimos. These inner planets are fascinating and unique. Learning about them helps us understand our place in space. They are part of our solar system family. 14. The asteroid belt is like a giant junkyard in space between Mars and Jupiter. It's full of rocks and metal called asteroids. Some are big, some are small, and they orbit the sun. Asteroids are leftovers from the early solar system that didn't become planets. Sometimes they crash into each other, creating smaller pieces. The asteroid belt is a busy place with millions of asteroids in different shapes and sizes. Some are round, some are lumpy, and some even have their own moons. Scientists study asteroids to learn more about our solar system's history. The asteroid belt is a reminder of how our solar system formed. It's a place of constant motion and change. It's a cosmic junkyard full of fascinating objects. Exploring it helps us understand our past. 13. Section 4. Outer planets, gas giants, and icy worlds. The outer planets are very different from the inner planets. They are much bigger and made mostly of gas. Jupiter is the largest planet with a giant red spot, a huge storm. Saturn has beautiful rings made of ice and rock. Uranus is tilted on its side and rotates differently than other planets. Neptune is very far away, cold and windy. These outer planets are fascinating gas giants and ice giants. Jupiter has many moons, some bigger than planets. Uranus is a blue-green color, a mysterious planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. They have many moons and rings. Section 5. Our Galaxy, a Vast Universe Our solar system is part of a galaxy called the Milky Way. It's a huge collection of stars, gas, and dust. Our sun is just one star in the Milky Way, which has billions of other stars. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy that looks like a giant pinwheel. Our solar system is located on one of the spiral arms, not in the center. The Milky Way is so big it takes light years to travel across it. A light year is the distance light travels in one year. The Milky Way is just one galaxy among billions in the universe. The universe is incredibly vast and mysterious. Scientists are constantly learning more about it. Learning about our galaxy and the universe helps us understand our place in the cosmos. It's a journey of discovery. Section 6. Which planet will you visit? We've explored our solar system. We've learned about the sun and the planets. We've seen the asteroid belt and the Milky Way. It's been a fun journey. Now it's time to imagine. Which planet would you like to visit? Would you travel to hot Mercury? Or explore the clouds of Venus? Maybe you'd like to walk on Mars or visit Jupiter's giant red spot? Would you fly through Saturn's rings or explore the icy worlds of Uranus and Neptune? Each planet is unique and fascinating. They all have something special to offer. Close your eyes and imagine. What would it be like to stand on another planet? What would you see? What would you discover? Maybe one day you'll visit another planet. Which one will you choose?